Miami. Pinch me because I must be dreaming. Never in a million years would I ever have thought that I would ever get the chance to meet the woman of my dreams. Yet here I am, about to marry you. When I asked you to be with me, and at the time you felt unsure, I told you, we will make this work. Paolo, we are finally here. I'm so grateful to know someone like you. Each day with you has been an adventure. Our relationship from the start was always a fun one. Started as friends. I used to come over and join some jam sessions. Thought we were the next passion in Tori Kelly. I never thought you would be the one I'd be standing up here with. We are here because of us. You and I are the perfect team. I am Shaq and you are Kobe. And you know that, sweetie, you know that. Think you knew it before, but you just ignored that. So now you won't take back, but there's no refunds here. So you sort of hurt, it makes you see clear. You always made it known that no matter what happened, we would make it work, friends or not. But I'm grateful I gave us a chance. Because we are here, about to be husband and wife. You are one in a billion, and uh, I promise to protect and love you till my last breath. Thank you for accepting me for who I am. And um, being patient enough to allow me to grow. You'll always be my favorite singer, rapper, guitarist, basketball player, my chef that only cooks the best steak and Filipino food movie partner, comedian, and dog dad. And I'll never stop being your cheerleader. Thank you for showing me true unconditional love. And I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you by myself. You're now more than my best friend. You're my forever. I love you. I can still recall when you and Paolo first started dating. Naomi kept hanging out with him as friends. She kept posting him on her Snapchat, kept posting all these pictures, and I kept nagging her saying, so like, what are you guys? <laughs> A few days later, I'd ask her again and again, only for her to reply with a snap of her and Paolo holding hands in the car. <laughs> I'm so happy for you and Paolo. To the happy couple, may your love be as timeless as the stars and as boundless as the ocean. I am happy that Naomi has found her partner. She deserves all the happiness in the world. Someone who will take care of her and treat her like a princess. And I wanted to say a few facts you may not know about Naomi. First, she's a great sister. She's taught me how to do my hair, my makeup. She's taught me what to wear. Naomi's also a great listener. I feel like I can talk to her when I'm in a pickle. 
and one thing that she loves is pickles. She also loves dogs. I'm honestly surprised she doesn't have more dogs and cats, but Hercules would be happy to know that you and Paulo finally got married. Hercules told me to tell you you look beautiful today. Um, I hope you have a long marriage and that you will always cherish each other. And then one piece of advice that I have for you is that remember you are a princess and you are never wrong. <laughs> so first I wanted to say that you made the most beautiful bride today. In a way I'm sad because we're all grown up and I still wish that we still had those carefree days when we were younger and we would stay up late on our bunk beds and we would play our Nintendo DS. But this is part of life and growing up and now you have a new chapter to begin with Paulo and create a family of your own, hint, hint, babies. <laughs> and Paulo, I'm glad I can finally call you, officially call you my brother. <laughs> as you know, you've married into a family full of girls. So having you as a brother is extra special. You were handpicked by my sister, and that makes it even better. To my brother and his beautiful wife, Naomi, um, many people will give you advice and talk about life and marriage, but I'm not really here to give you that. <laughs> because all 11 years of your time together, you've proven how strong your commitment and love for each other has been. Like you said, Shaq and, like, you're a Shaq and Kobe situation. We really got no business giving advice to champions. Naomi, I uh, never got to say this to you, but thank you. Paolo has gone through some dark times that not a lot of us know, but you pulled him out of there, so thank you. <laughs> Naomi, the man you will spend the rest of your life is a gentle and humble soul. A man with many wisdom and patience. He will slide in some pun jokes and importantly keep you safe. He's the kind of man who will reassure you every night and every morning. Paolo, my brother, it's always an honor to celebrate your life's achievement. Love is kind and it's patient. And you share that love with us here today with your brothers and sisters and friends, parents, and most especially your better half. From the moment you were born, you brought so much joy and happiness to that in me. You're not the second, you're the first one who bought a house from the four <laughs> sisters. We are, we are so proud of you, that and me, from the uh, beautiful, responsible, hardworking woman that you are, thanks to Paolo too. May your love continue to grow stronger each day. Always put God first, no matter what comes your way, He's always there and he will make you pass through the storm.